everybody, this is Peter from Mail Pattern Boldness. Today I wanted to take a few minutes and introduce you to my latest vintage sewing machine, which is a Kenmore 158.141. It dates, I think, from the late 60s, early 70s, and it's a really great machine. It's a zigzagger, and I got it locally at the Chelsea Flea Market for $20 <laughs> with the table. So I wanted to just show you how it works and show you some of the things that I really like about it. So for starters, here's the table. I mean, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but that's okay. It's a kind of a wood veneer table. Uh, it has a little door that opens up like so, and there's a space here where you could um, store thread, spools of thread. Now look how it opens. That's one of the neatest things. Of course, this flips open like any sewing machine table would. And then, do you see there's like this spring on the right? That allows the machine to spring up very easily. So there's no, there's no, you, it doesn't take a lot of muscle power to get this machine into place. Okay, whoops, it's just, there we go, sorry about that. So now the machine is ready to sew. And uh, what I have done, it's a zigzag machine and I have added a short shank adapter that takes snap-on feet so I can use lots of different kinds of feet with it because it, it only came with a zigzag foot. You turn on the light like so. Now uh, a couple of the interesting features of this machine are lots of interesting forward and backward stitches. To use the forward ones you keep this knob on the left. If you want the backward stitches you turn that to the right. And this top dial controls the uh, your stitch length and the bottom dial controls, well there are two dials actually, the outer, the, uh, the larger dial controls stitch width if you're using the zigzag feature. And then this dial features different stitches like blind hem, a couple of embroidery stitches that are nice. Here's your backward back back stitch lever. This controls the feed dogs which do drop. One of the things that this machine does not do, it does not have um, needle position control. The needle position does change obviously because it's a zigzagger, but you can't switch it, say, to the left or to the right. It's always in that center position. As far as I know, if anyone knows otherwise, please tell me, but I think that it's stationary. So we're going to start stitching a little. Turn the machine on. This machine must be turned on, which means that the light turns on for the machine to work. That's, some, that's a feature I don't love. Uh, I'm not used to that feature. Most of my straight stitch, vintage straight stitch machines will stitch without having to turn the machine on or off and the light bulb is separate from the power so you can choose not to use the light bulb if say you are stitching in front of a window and you don't need the light. Okay so let's uh, start stitching. Alright so now we're going to start stitching. I have a piece of a pretty thick blue cotton sateen and I'm just going to fold it in half and put it under the presser foot. Let's just make a plain old 5 8 inch seam and let's uh, let's do that. Let's straight stitch that. Okay and off we go. We just have some white thread in there. Sort of a sh short stitch length. And that really comes out looking great on both sides of course. I love the sound of the motor. Let's do some zigzagging. Uh, decrease the stitch length. Now the stitch lengths here are very clearly marked. Like all Kenmore machines, starts at 6, 8, 10, 12, and you can uh, get all the way up to such a short stitch for if you want to do a satin stitch. Super, super short. So let's do some zigzagging. You hear that motor? It's super, super powerful. And you can see how nice those stitches look on both sides. 
I have not even replaced the needle since I bought this machine. Honestly, it, it looked like it had hardly ever been used. Let me show you some of the special stitches. Here's one that involves both forward, whoops, forward and reverse. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Super powerful machine, super powerful motor. It's a 1.3 amp motor. And you can see, I think this is just an embroider, an embroidery stitch, decorative embroidery stitch. I don't think it's anything, uh, it has any other purpose to the best of my knowledge. Uh, let's try another backward stitch. Uh, this is also a very attractive stitch. Uh, I don't have the manual so I don't know what these stitches are called. But I believe that this is another decorative stitch that you might use if you were wanted to decorate a hem or a neckline. And you can see that's the stitch on the left. Probably is, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to change that needle. Anyway, it's a super machine, and I'm going to show you, uh, we'll stitch on a few other different kinds of fabrics, and I can show you how that works. Let's stitch through some blue denim. I'm folding this denim in half. So we're just going to stitch through two layers of this denim. No big deal, right? I just love the sound of that motor. It's so different from my other machines. Really, really different. Looks great, of course. Now let's see. Let's cut that. Let's fold it in half again. So now we're stitching through four layers of denim. And anybody who's ever made jeans knows that when you're stitching flat felled seams, it's ve you're very often stitching through at least four layers of denim. And you can see, very smooth, no problem whatsoever, four layers of denim. And I'm not using any kind of special thread. In fact, I'm just using serger thread. Let's fold it in half again. So now we're talking about eight layers of denim. Get rid of that thread. Let's try eight layers of denim. Let's see how that goes. Now, see how high the clearance is? Lifts all the way up over that without any trouble whatsoever. And off we go. Perfect. Nice stitches, no trouble at all. This is a wonderful vintage machine. Again, it's the Kenmore 158.141. And uh, it's a super powerful machine, and I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So I'm very happy. So thanks a lot. Let's see, I'm here. Thanks a lot for watching this movie and uh, good luck sewing with your vintage machines.